reception. Welcome to our literacy lessons. This is week four and it's day one. Now this week we are continuing to look at the story of Little Red Riding Hood. So I would like today to look at the whole story. Now it says here what is the setting? Now a setting is where the story takes place. Does anybody know where our story of Little Red Riding Hood takes place? That's right, it takes place in the woods. So I'm going to write in, and it starts with a capital I, in the woods. So I've got a capital letter at the start, I've got my finger spaces and I've got at the end, that's right, a full stop. So it takes place in the woods. And so here is the woods and there is Little Red Riding Hood's house and Grandma's house is on the other side of the woods. Right then children, what about the main character? Who is the main character in our story? That's right. It's Little Red Riding Hood. So I'm going to write Little Red Riding Hood here. Little Red Riding Hood. So the main character is Little Red Riding Hood. And look. I say red, you say red, red. So that is the main character in our story. Here she is. Now, children, what happened first? What happened in our story, the very first thing? That's right, Little Red Riding Hood sets off to see her grandma. So there's Little Red Riding Hood. And she took a basket of goodies for her grandma. So I'm going to write what happens first. It's Little Red Riding Hood. No, Little Red, red, red Riding Hood. Set at set off. That's one of our high frequency words. Off. So little red riding hood set off to see her grandma. And an at at the end, grandma. And what do we end our sentence with? That's right, a full stop. So Little Red Riding Hood set off to see her grandma. So what happened next? So what happened next? Who is this? Oh, that's right, it's the wolf. She met a wolf in the... Do you remember where she met? The wolf in the woods. So let's write that now. She, and that's one of our tricky words from phase three. She met, met, she met a wolf. Remember the next word? In. And the next one, that's right, the, and the final word, woods. So she met a wolf in the woods. Yes, and she shouldn't have been talking to that wolf, should she? He was a stranger and she told him that she was going to visit grandma's and she told him, where grandma's house was and he went off didn't he and then he got into 
little uh, grandma's bed after eating grandma up and then little red riding hood came knocking on the door and we had oh, what big eyes you've got and what big ears you've got and what big teeth you've got and then what happened last that's right the woodcutter chops up the wolf so that's what i'm going to write here's the woodcutter here so here he is come to rescue little red riding hood and grandma so the wood cutter chops now chop i say chops you say chops chops up as one of our high frequency words so the wood cutter chops up the who does he chop up that's right the wolf and we end our sentence with a full stop so the woodcutter chops up the wolf now children in your pack i have sent you a sheet of paper that has got um, what is the setting? Who is the main character? What happens first? What happens next? And what happens last? See if you can fill it in and then take a picture of it and send it to the email. Okay, so now we know where the story takes place. We know the main character. We know what happened at the beginning. We know what came next what happened next and then we know what happened at the end now you can write a bit more if you like in the boxes don't forget to send it through your email okay children bye